Sevinirim. Tell me, this is only for you now. I know. Are you a boy? I just feel comfortable talking to you with a gun or something. Uh, uh, Chamu. So please, take it out. Chamu. Well? Uh, no, I don't mean like that. I mean like take it away, take it into your car and keep it there so you come back with it or something. Chamu. Cha uh, Chamu. Well? Coming back. happy at all. I am not happy because Timothy, your husband, is not my son. If Timothy were my son, hey, I would have been the happiest woman. Happy that he married a visionless wife, a Dundee. I would have been everywhere, sitting over everything, controlling everything. But the sad thing is, Timothy is married to my daughter. Visionless. Mama, I am visionless because I have not asked you why you came to visit. Hey! Your husband, Timothy, is a very rich man. But all I found in your account is a miserable sum of 250,000 naira. Mama, how did you get my passbook? I got your passbook because I have vision. And you... You don't have any vision. Mama, Visionless. no matter what it is, I will not tolerate you invading my privacy. Ah! I invaded your privacy a long time ago. I invaded your privacy even before you knew how to pronounce the word. Mama! Belema, do you know how much your husband Timothy has? Mama, please be nice enough to tell me how rich my husband is. Kobina, yes, Jifu. We haven't worked together before. But I like your pedigree, and you come highly recommended. I'll pay you and your boys 10,000 US dollars for the security detail job. Chifo, you see the creek? Now we get him. You get no wala at all. No bother yourself. We did here. Yeah, that's it, Chifo. I'll get something, please. Ah! Chifo! Chifu! Oh, okay. Eh? Uh, this is your advance payment. When ah. you're done, you get the rest. Belema, since you have refused to listen to me, your mother, since you have, you have refused to take my advice, eh, hey, Belema? I am leaving your house today. Hmm. And I know you always come at last. That is what they say. When the time comes, Lema, you will cry, and I know. But it will be too late for you. Would you say anything? Mama, what do you want me to say? Eh. We have nothing to say, Abby. No problem. I am leaving your house. I will never come back to this house again. I will not. The time will come one day, Belema, when you will look for me. 
But then, it will be too late for you. I am giving. If you see me this house, then man, do me anything you like. This deal for four million US dollars. Hey. That is <laughs> over six hundred million naira. <laughs> now I don't make all the arrangements. I should take work for the creek. Back and forth to be gone clear. I don't also arrange for the loading. Uh Glenn. Moss. How about the documents then? Ah, <laughs> no be small, you know. The client just the demand, some more bring this, bring this, bring this. Many, many documents. Uh. It is uh, the documents, you just I can just go pick up for road. But anyway, all the documents where he has, I also I say a cock for the game. I don't tidy all of them. You say, if you like, go bring uh, the original. Bring uh, Genge on at the same. Oh, sure. I go, don't go. tidy. Go, go. No, sure. So, if you do, you say you pass the documents, give Barista. Okay. You need the press before you tender. I'm not sure. Bro. Okay. Not sure. Okay. <laughs> by, by the way, you can still use the period to change account people to collect 600 million after which we suffered the last time. You know, pure. Oh, yeah, man. Those blue the change guys, eh? I believe they died before for the former job we do. For based on what happened, we said for that other job we do, those guys, eh? Yeah. Based on that matter, I know fit Zemo could use them. They're greedy, die. Those guys are <laughs> tifo. So, <laughs> now you think I now say, I just open my eye. <laughs> Carry 600 million, take trust those guys. Let me say, they head the shake. I tell you one thing, eh? Not possible. At all. That money too fast. Eh, eh, Barista, wait there. You don't get how it if I take arrange my this is my domiciliary account. This corporate to domiciliary account. Yes. You don't take arrange the paper. Sure, no, no, say you don't go just the easy for this pay to just enter your your uh, corporate domiciliary account. You don't go easy now. With this uh, new money laundering act, yawa go deal plenty. No, yeah. So what for you now? See, see what you are thinking. When I know see all the documents who will take they do these runs, no or there at all. She will not say no genuine. Now forge we forge all. So make we no ever make mistake to just try something like legal transfer of funds because now heavy yawa will face. Eh? So if you ask me the best thing that we route the payment eh, through eh, other appropriate channels where a day fit for this kind of runs now. We get two options. Eh? See, either we rent a, a um, offshore accounts for Bahamas. You know, say EFCs know the sugar I put where they did. They only they sugar at all. In fact, eh, na zero percent tracing. This one, my sister, don't talk like this. What you got away for now? Bros, this one, hold you, this one, hold you, this one, hold you. Angelina, my friend. Hey, Angelina, it's not fair. Uh -uh. How can you people travel to see the Aquaibom State's first lady? And you didn't carry me along. I've told you be carrying me along. I'll make you proud though. I want to be among you people. You will not, you will not regret it. Yeah. Okay. See, you'll be proud of me. <laughs> Okay, when you return. Bye. When you come back. Yeah. Okay. Mama. Hey, Sophia. Good evening. Thank you. You're back. Hmm. I thought you said you'd be at Belemas till weekend. Your stingy sister. Did she allow me to stay? She practically threw me out. Threw you out? What happened? Sophia. Sometimes, eh? I regret not having a boy. 
Sometimes, I wish your sister Belema were a man. Imagine if she was a man. By now, me and you, eh, will be flying around the whole world with first class ticket. But mama, we are not poor. Are we rich? Are we rich? We are not rich either. Imagine this evening now, eh, this night, I am attending a party in GRA. Look at what I'm wearing. Am I supposed to go dressed like this? Imagine me being in a garden where all the tick tick madams of our society will be. Look at what I'm wearing. Am I supposed to dress like this? Eh? I don't get you, Mama. You were talking about Belema before. Now, the dinner at GRA. You're dressing. What's the link? You don't get the link, Abby. Okay, I'll tell you. Your sister Belema, my daughter, is married to one of the richest men in this our society. Do you know how much I saw in her bank account? 250,000 naira. Miserable 250,000 naira. You get the link now. Hello, my darling. Oh, hello, big you. How are you doing? Hey, darling. How are you doing? Ah, oh, oh. Ooh, look at you. What's up? You good? Work was great. Work was great. Just... Why not? Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Give me. Oh, go, 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 come guys. <laughs> come. Ah, uh, let me do something. Um, do you know something called sharing? You know how it works. It's really nice. It's when two people work together as one and they achieve something really fast. Now hold on. You hold on to this part tightly. Don't let go. And you hold on to this. And together you can take it upstairs. See, it's even lighter. that you have no job, no business. Ever since you dropped out of school, got married to a rich guy without any reasonable income. What other reasonable income do I need? Sophie, but she's only trying to make you secure your own future. My future is secured. Whether I work or not, my future is secured. Sophie, I am content. Okay? I am glad. I am happy with my life. And for your information, do you have an idea that our father died prematurely as a result of somebody trying to secure their future? Let's just leave it there, okay? The thing is, I lack nothing. 
My husband loves me so much and I love him and that is enough security for me. documents won't fly. If we use this document for the deal, we'll end up destroying everything. Oh boy, oh boy. See, that, that's exactly what I thought when I went to it myself. That's why I actually bought you for you to go through yourself. <laughs> Quite this deal now, don't they talk about. Heavy money no be changing at all. You know what I mean, right? We're dealing with an international corporate entity, not just some individuals that of we course. can just bamboozle by, you know, throwing some things around. Guys, uh, just weak. You know, initially, I did all these things, you know, the documentation, designs, you know. I was involved in the entire process. Everything was perfect. Uh, but unfortunately, it all turned out like this. Well, oh, slow down, Sha. Uh, what do we do now? Um, uh, Barista. Yeah. Can you give me the document um, titles and content? Okay. Okay, no problem. No. Uh, stay in touch with the clients. Absolutely. Uh, what about Fred and Josh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked. Uh, they are soliciting for mini boats at the wharf. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Oh, great, great, great. All right. Being that as it may, I think that uh, we've covered so much ground already. Okay. It'd be a good thing to recess and meet later in the evening. I say at the place, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Man. All right, man. All right sir. Take care. Oh my god. Hey, it's not easy. You know, we have to prepare very well for the senator to say mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Mama Belema, do you know the elite social club ladies will be there? Hello! Do you know I'll be planning to join that club? I'll be planning to join that club. Oh. Imagine being in the same club with the first lady oh. and senator's wives. <laughs> that is why we have to meet up to their criteria. Yeah. Yes, mm. and look, we have to be classy, always. And um, for you to qualify as a member, requires a lot of things. Mm. Hey. Yes. See, I'm already imagining myself in that club. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, hey. eh? President's wife, mm -hmm. governor's wife, mm -hmm. senator. Hey, and, and do you know if I work very hard, eh? In less than a year. Do you know I can become the president of the club? <laughs> <laughs> Mama Bele, ma. But look, let us strive hard to become members first before thinking about president or... Ah. Mm. You're right. Eh, mm. uh, dear Shebi, uh, how much do you say you're selling mm -hmm. this? 555,000 naira per year. Beautiful ones. To be clicking by the time you wear it like this. Don't go down. Celine, uh, you're back from school. Did you finish your lot? Okay, welcome, eh? Welcome. Mama, you're back. I hear that apart from 
unpacking, you're also good at designing websites. Yes, boss. I can copy any website in the world. I can also do a lot of hacking and uh, okay, into the private sector. Right, right. I don't want you to do any hacking for me, just design. I want you to look at the NMPC website, okay. the CBN website, and also that of the Ministry of Petroleum. I want you to duplicate those sites for me, and I want them up and running very soon. Okay. I also have a list of documents I'd like for you to look at and replicate some that you'll also design for me. That's a lot of money, old boss. Kelly. Do a good job and you won't have to think about money. Okay, boss. You can go, actually. Sit. The documents. There's something very stuck in line. I spoke about and I wanted to bring it to the table. What's it doing? Speed. Well, well, as long as it brings money, you know me, I like money. <laughs> Tell me we have a new client. Please <laughs> <laughs> just go ahead, leave this guy. Well, basically, um, money and power is synonymous. And the more money we make, the more power we will start with. Is someone planning politics here? Honestly, I think we need to start doing some intensive PR work. Uh, there's a new commission of police posted to Potaka City. And um, I think that we need to pass it something for him. Individual. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <clears throat> that means paying only. Exactly. And uh, also, this data attorney general uh, have arranged something for him as well. A box uh, for the Commission of Police. I think that collectively we need to do something. So I've been thinking and uh, we've thought about getting a car. What do you guys think? Hmm. Oh, new car. Not a bad idea. Good one. You see? Let's go. Only fans, they get sense. What about my? What about my? I think it's right. Yes, I've been around. Sorry. What are you hiding? Yes. Come on, Come on. Bye. He said you wanted to see me. What is your occasion? Oh no, oh, no, there's nothing. It's just my husband being romantic, that's all. <laughs> all the time your father showered me, me with gifts. Hmm? Mm -hmm. He was always up to something and at the end of the day, it's no good. Mama, that was my father, not my husband. Men are men. Men are men. Let's say Tim is being his romantic self. Let's say he hasn't cheated on you and trying to buy off his guilt. Mama, Tim has not cheated on me. He will never cheat on me. Mm. Then it means he has so much money and doesn't know how to spend it except buying you gifts like this. Chai Belema, why are you being financially reckless? Me?
F financially reckless. I did not even request for the gifts. Mama, you know I don't spend money like that. My daughter, being financially reckless is not only when you spend money anyhow. It also means you sitting on top of big money and not knowing how to chuck in small, small for yourself. <sighs> Mama, my husband is hungry. I need to make him food to eat. Please, can we adjourn this national confab? I'll make something for you to eat too. Something happens to Timothy today. What do you have to show as your marital benefit? What are you planning to happen to Timothy? And besides, what's, 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 what's the meaning what's the meaning of marital benefits? God knows I wish Timothy all the best. But Timothy is a typical robo man. The more money he gets, the more adventurous he will become. Meaning what? Meaning he they. Robo people are polygamous in nature. What if you get another wife tomorrow? Since you've not given him a son. Mama, my husband might be a robo man. For he is not polygamous in nature. He will never, ever, ever think of something like that. And besides, he loves our kids. He loves our daughters just the way he would love his male child. And besides, he's just... What so if he dies? Something, Delema. Invest in something. Build houses. Buy land. Have something to fall back on in case. In, in case of what? Mama. Are you confirming to me that my father died as a result of someone trying to acquire marital benefit? Mm -hmm. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to die of starvation. Don't let that blow up in your head. I'm very hungry now. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, good evening. Uh, uh, please, please don't let me die. My father died. I'm dying. I shouldn't come here to bother you. Hmm? If only my daughter was working and making her own money, eh? I shouldn't come to bother you. But since he insists that she remains at home and be a full-time housewife, hey, hey, sure. it's okay, Mama. Um, uh, I understand. What, what, is there? A, what's the matter? Hmm. It's my cow. Hmm? Every day I'm at the mechanic. Every day. Ordinarily, if my condition was, you know, I shouldn't bother you. I know the kind of car I should be driving in this time, but... It's okay, Mama. Um, um, I'm going to look into that and uh, uh, try to uh, arrange something for you soon. Yeah! Yes, I will. <laughs> Thank you! Oh. Is everything okay, Mama? I have uh, another problem, serious one. That one is serious. Mm. It's money, money. I need money. It, it, it's okay. I'm like, how much are you looking at? Two hundred and uh, I think it's two hundred oh, and. Okay. It's okay, Mama. Um. Two... Hey! <laughs> but I didn't say you should give me now. It's okay, Mama. Hey. It's alright. Hey. Yeah. hey! Thank you now. Let me start going. Okay, Mama. Hey, Timothy, my son. Hold on, Mama. Hold on, Mama. Hey, hey, the car. Okay. Which day am I? Um, I'm going to place a few phone calls and let you know as soon as possible, Mama. Soon. Very soon.
Thank you. Well done, Let me ma. not disturb you. you Have a great day, ma. Well done, ma. Thank well done, ma. Thank Madam Agnes, Madam Roya, it's not easy. Oh. Eh? This Abuja eh? by the time we finish with Abuja, mm -hmm. the first lady herself eh, will recommend us into the elite lady of social course, club. Now, of course. Yes, now. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, it's only ministers, governors, and senators' wives that make up the club. Mm -hmm. Forget Agnes. that thing. Forget that ah. thing. See? When money talks, eh, anything works. Exactly. As you are spending, we are spending. As you are spending, we are spending. They will see us. Agnes, we need to be recognized. We need to be recognized. Whether politician, wife or not, we have to be recognized. I'm telling you. See, my friends. <laughs> Very soon, eh, I will be cruising wonder on this. Give us the letters G. Oh <laughs> Give us the letters G. <laughs> see, forget, forget. See, when I bring it, you will see. Please, hey. By the way, sir, how much is a first class ticket nowadays? First class ticket. First. Okay, let me call my agent. Yes. So, honey, how long do you say you're staying for? I'm not totally sure. You know, the whole trip is not planned. But um, I'll be going to Italy from there. I'll fly to France. I'll give or take a couple of days. I should be back in two weeks max. Okay. But, honey, you have to take care of yourself. Okay. And stay safe. I will. Every time I have to go like this, I'm really afraid it's my heart. Mama, wait, what is it? Ah, ah, come. There's this good thing I want to tell you about. Uh -huh, what is it? Okay. See, eh, there's this business venture. It is new, but highly profitable. You can invest in it while you sit down at home and continue being the full-time housewife that you have always been. Mama, is that why you called me outside? Is that why you, you, you called me from inside to, the, to this place? What are you planning to hear? Mama, I am content with my life. Did I tell you I lack anything? My family is enough venture for me to invest in. I am not interested in any business. Bella, ma, I will think something, Mr. Bill, before you called me. Can I go back? So you will not even wait to hear the type of business I'm recommending, or how much is involved, or what you will do to secure your future. Mama, my future is secured. My future is secured. I don't want to do any business. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Mama, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah, uh -huh. leave me alone.
the house. She's been waiting for you for long, Mama. Where did you go? Sophia, you won't believe it. You won't believe Belema turned down the business proposal I told you about. Imagine. Something that would have uplifted this family. But I told you never to bother that she will surely turn it down. Linda, how are you? Fine. Ma. How is your mother? She's very fine. Ma. Your mother told me you rounded up the, the NYC program. Yes, ma'am. Mm. And now you're job hunting. Uh, yes, ma. And uh, she actually said you promised to help. Yes, she's right. I can help. I have a lot of contacts in this town. I have connections. I'll talk to my in-law for a start. I actually like girls like you, you know. Girls who are willing to work. To earn money. Girls who like success. Keep it up. Keep it up, eh? Yes, I'll talk to my in-law for a start. God bless you, Mama. I have the photocopies of my CV here. Don't worry. Forget about CV. Just skip it. Only one phone call. You will get a job. Mama. What? Mama, I'm sorry I came late. I had to drop the kids off and traffic was terrible. What is it? Eh, uh, Belema. Since you're allergic to work, you're allergic to money, you're allergic to success, eh, uh, please, is it possible that you help people who are willing to work? Mama, what are you talking about? Eh, uh, you know Chijoke's uh, mother? Chijoke's mother, the daughter, the one that is living behind her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Her daughter, yeah. she just came back from youth service. So? Is it possible you talk to Tim to give her work so that she can earn a living? Mama, I would not really know if Tim wants to hire her. I don't know if Tim has the space in his office for her. Why? Because. First of all, I don't know what she studied in school, and I don't know if there's vacancy in his office. Belema, Belema. See how you're mumbling everything up, eh? I don't know this. I don't know that. I don't know this. I don't know that. Do you know anything? Do you know anything? See, Belema, let me tell you. Since you don't want to work, allow room for people who want to work. Here, yeah? I know what I will do. I have to go and meet him by myself to fix her somewhere. Mama, Tim is out of the country. I'll see you later. Uh, when is he coming? When is he coming back?
Cinema is really enjoying it. It's our business. Hey, now that team is back. Oh, I have to call Linda. I need to call her so that we can go and meet him in his office tomorrow. That's what I will do. That's true. But Mama, you need to take a look at this Italian designer he got for me. Let me show you. Very serious meeting that will last very long. Okay. Maybe you come back, but I'll tell him you were here. Hey, but it's important I see him more. Uh -huh. And you know what? Uh, Linda, uh -huh. you will sit down. Okay. Let me just uh, go down the corner. There is this thing I saw. I want to feed my eyes. Uh -huh. But if you see him, just call me. Okay. I'll come immediately. Okay. And reception, Ma? take care of her. She's my Maybe daughter. Me. Merely team is through with the meeting. Call me. All right. I'll be back now. Now I'm just going down the corner. All right. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Linda. Please sit down. What are you doing here, Zay? I've come to see you, Tim. What is it? What, do you mean, what is it? Have I not warned you not to come close to me? Have I not warned you not to come to me within even a thousand yards of me? Now, why won't I come close to you? When for over a month now I've been calling you and all your lines are switched off. Why are you calling me? Why? Why are you calling me? Have I not settled you for a year? Then why do you keep coming? Why, 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 why do you keep on calling my phone? So what do you want to talk to me about? Ah, oh, Peggy! Oh, stop talking as if I care about you. I don't. It's your son that wants to see you, not me. He's been asking after you for some time now. I had no choice but to bring him here. Ha! Huh. You can't hide him from your family forever. Eh? He's your son, and you must treat him like that. You know what I say? What, Tim? If he is my son, and I have been taking care of him to the best of my abilities, as every good father should, I've been leaving up my responsibilities. I'm telling you something, Tim. If you do anything to bring discredit to my family, or to bring problems to my family, oh, I will not stop. Which responsibility are you talking about? My son is tired of being hidden from his father. And I dictate everything that happens in his life, including when he becomes public knowledge. And for now, everything remains the way it is. I'm done with this conversation. Get out of my office. You can't keep him in the dark forever. So, I'll go drop him off in your house. You will dare do no such thing. Try me. Try me. Hey, uh, can I see him now? Uh, Mama, he left in a hurry. Ha -ha. He, um... What happened? Um, I... Oh, but I told you to call me, merely he comes out, eh? I'm sorry, Ma. Mama, let's go. I think we should come another time. Why? He was too harsh on her, Mama. <laughs> too harsh on her? Who is her? I think his ex-wife. She had a son for him. She even came with the son. What? Which ex-wife? What son are you talking about? What? What son? What ex-wife? Tell me! Mama, I heard them arguing. I heard everything. <laughs> what did you hear? Tell me more. Tell me. Everything. Mama. Hey! Hey! Are you sure this is true? It is true, my dear. I carried out my investigation, but it is true. 
only second trip. You were about to take your own time. He begged me all through the night over. Yeah, you. Belema! Why would you allow this man to use his juju on you? And the juju is working! Mama, it's not juju. Hey! Belema! Did you not agree the begging should start from my house? Okay. Mama, he has gone to work. And I don't want to argue with you. I'm just going to go upstairs and get my things and I'll go with you to the house. Son! Son! It is too late, you hear? I have a plan B. Come to the palace so that we can talk about it. Oh boy, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. But Tim, how did you find out? Her mother was here and she overheard everything I said to Essie and the rest is just down downhill from there. Man. I just feel really awful, man. Oh boy, you 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 just have to take it easy. And come to think of it, it was meant to come out eventually one day. No, it will come out one day, but not like this. Not like this, um, okay? But not this way. Now, it's going to be impossible, virtually impossible for me to ever gain back her trust. Especially with her mom commandeering her heavy thought. See, 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 uh, Tim, you're the man. 
just try do everything possible you can to gain her trust back okay but come to think of it what's she up to now boy this is bad news so this is bad news Lema, I have constantly told you to secure your future. Create marital benefit for yourself. Melema, life and men are unpredictable. Oh. Yeah, but mama, but what? But what, Melema? Have you ever wondered why Tim, a typical robo man with so much money, has not been disturbing you for a male child? That one I know now. Good. The battle line is drawn. You have to secure your place in this house. Else, you and your children, you will lose out at the end of the day. So, Mama, what do I have to do now? Bear him a son. And it has to be now. Yeah, but what difference will he make? I mean, because his sacred son will still be his first son. Belema. Think forward. Don't always be thinking backward. Eh? You are his legal wife. That secret son is an illegitimate child. Once you bear him a son, eh? We will move on to plan number two. Plan number two. Mm -hmm. What's that? See, once you bear him the son, hmm? we will now make Tim to change his will. So he will rewrite his testament to favor you and your children. Uh, listen, guys, uh, uh, Tim will not be able to make it. What's the matter? Um, he has some crucial family matters to deal with. Oh, come on, Barista of Kings. Is he the only one with a family? What? Why is he always carrying his family like gold? Why are you saying like that? Family comes first. It starts, Barrister Okes. Family comes first. Yes. I disagree with you. Money! Money comes first. <laughs> Guys, <clears throat> what exactly is this family meeting that will make him bone a deal worth 50 million? Ask me. The client they wait for us for Dubai by Monday to come concretize this deal. Oh. Listen, listen, it, 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 th 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 there's no big problem here. We can still discuss. We can. I'm not He's... discussing this issue anymore. The what? The team is here. I'm going to attend to my own family issues too. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. You're, you're, you guys are you all have getting it wrong. You're all yeah. getting it wrong.
que nem de pouco. Ok. I'm listening. I need my own son. But Emma, we agreed that we're not going to have more than two children. Well, everything has changed. Tim, it's not like we cannot afford to have more kids or we don't have enough money to take care of them. Or is it because you have a son somewhere else? Oh, come on, please don't sound like this. How am I sounding? How do I sound? Because before I know it now, another woman is going to walk through my door with kids yeah, yeah, and they're all right, yours. It's all right, it's all right. You, you win. We have another child. We're having a son. Belima. I don't determine the sex of children. I don't know. Tim, this time around, we are going to have a son. Okay. We'll have a son. Tim and I spoke about your last night and he has agreed. Hmm. He has no choice. Actually, Tim has no plans for you to have a male child. But you know what? His plan has failed. Mama, thank you very much. I am happy. Now you're sounding like my daughter. I have seen someone who has agreed to help you have a male child. Meaning, the next time you get pregnant, it is guaranteed to be a boy. Mama, who is this person? Obolate. Tobra. Me too. I call him B. Big now and ask Mama. She's very fertile. Yeah, Afro Bahima. Hey, it runs in our family. Hey, all of us we are very fertile. Yeah, Afro Bahima, come. Yeah. <laughs> you can sit down. Before sleeping with your husband, eh? If you're in a mono, you will bet with this soap. Then, then you will rub this impiolo on your tie. You shall form your soup. I remember my mother. 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 Okay, so I should. Take my bath with this one. Mm -hmm. And I should rub this one. Mm -hmm. And I'll have a male child. Mm -hmm. You understand? Whoever directed you people, have a good testimony about me. Just go and do as you're told. Eh? Fine, mm -hmm. <laughs> He told us about the yeah, your great works. Mm -hmm. And lastly, you must sleep with your husband this week. Me week, maybe I don't know. Mono, but I'm I can be brave now. Eh? You must sleep with him, and immediately you're pregnant. You must come for regular massage. Week go gabo. Every yeah. day. Yeah. Week go gabo, but week go gabo. That I'm I'm full of me. Week ba. You get that? My mate. Bro, 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 bro. Thank you. 
Mommy, you cannot be saying that now when we have agreed to have another child. Come on, let's go and try. and get me pregnant. That's all. I'm overlating now. That's great to hear, but you know what? <clears throat> um, I promise you tomorrow, okay? Honestly, tomorrow I'll be firing a normal cylinders, but tonight I'm a new one-off man. I can't do anything. Sorry. Guys, what's up? <laughs> Good news, team. Really? Yeah. Okay. It is. Well, you don't look surprised enough. No, well, what's up? Now, this is beyond good news. This is very good news. <laughs> <laughs> we will be able to convince the client for the oil well deal. Amazing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Amazing. <laughs> for real? What did happen now? What's next? <laughs> More brief. Perfectly. Uh, has agreed to fly over to Abuja first thing tomorrow. We're going to meet with the Honorable Minister of Petroleum. Nah, you nah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 I don't mean to have to be in Abuja, PSA me. Ah, ah. Are you asking? <laughs> like now. See, you have to go to Abuja and seal the deal. You know, package everything, put finishing touches. We'll set him up to meet with you. And then, uh, of course, we will uh, stay back and prepare oil evaluation document, of course, for you and uh, anything else that we would need for his arrival in the field. Yeah. Yeah, how, how are you? Um, get me on a flight to Abuja tonight. Yeah. Next, no, maybe last flight. Business class. Okay, all right. Thank you. <laughs> the boss! <laughs> hey, congratulations. <laughs> My honorable minister. Uh, Hey, but I don't get walk right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, so let me prepare myself and sure. then I'll, okay, alright. I'll give you a Once you get pregnant and bear his son, the battle has been won. Your future will be permanently secured. Mama, are you sure you're still gonna be around when team is gone and the battle line between my son, unborn son, and his half brother starts? Eh. Uh, Whatever the case may be, at least I'll be alive to equip my grandson when he is born. You do your part. Just get pregnant and leave the rest to me.
now that the family is about to expand, don't you think it'd be nice to have someone to help mm -hmm. you around the house? I'll talk to my mother first about it. I was just thinking, um, it'd be nice to have the baby in the States. My mother would say no if you ask me. And if you ask me, I'll say she doesn't own my baby. And don't forget I'm her own baby. It's okay. Let's not argue about that. So. Uh, think, when are you going to go get a scan? You keep saying the baby's a boy, the baby's a boy, but there's no scan to prove it. I'll talk to my mother if she permits me, then I'll go. Talk to your mother about everything. When did your mom become the alpha and omega of all the family affairs here? Since she discovered your heartless secret, Tim, I'm not going for a scan. So leave me alone. And besides, you didn't even want the child. Why are you? What the sudden concern? You're not having this baby outside this town, not to talk of outside the country. Two, so, there shall be no scan. Mama, that is exactly what I said to him that you would say. No! Mama, don't put me to him. Next time when you're talking to your husband, make him look as if it is your idea, it is your decision, and you pin your feet to the ground and stand by it. No, that's true. See, Timothy does not want you to have a son. So he will do everything possible to sabotage your plan. Okay. Have you thought of the possibility of Timothy sending you to the US to have this child? And eventually you have a miscarriage. Mama, that's a point. It is more than a point. Timothy is content with his illegitimate son. So he doesn't want you to bear him a son. But you know what? His plans have failed. Hmm. What is it? Selin, why don't you go in the mid case, change your uniform, and then you can come back to ask me that question. Hmm? Is he a human baby I'm carrying your stomach? <laughs> yes, he's a human baby I'm carrying my stomach. And he's your younger brother. We put it inside. Salin, why don't you go in and change your uniform and then you can come back later, okay? Don't do something stupid there, oh! <laughs> How many have you arrested? Six of them. Boy, it goes. Boys. <sighs> the new combined school combing the waters they still decided to head in hmm come on these are boys we can't just let them off over a deal gone sour what i think we should be bothered about right now is how to get them released see guys the the point is we need volunteers now to stand in for their bail so who is going seriously i don't want to approach that issue Obviously. Well, if you ask my opinion, I will suggest that we all keep a low profile and uh, allow things to cool off for a while. I don't think so. I don't think we should let things cool off for a while. I'm going to go get them myself. That's too risky, Tim. That's exactly what I said. I'll go and get them myself. Uh, I'll provide a legal guidance on how to go about this.
I haven't done so. Oh, what? Dr. Nat says you've not been coming for antenatal treatment over yourself. Or for any treatment or so. Honey, I've been taking care of myself. Don't worry about this. Me and the baby, we're just fine. And we're going to name him after you. Honey, I have no problem with that. But honestly, I don't like the way you're taking things. I really want you to take the medical aspect of this very seriously. Honey, I and the baby would be just fine. Don't worry about us, okay? So fix it, fix the cord. <laughs> very strong and is getting ready to join us. Thank you. <laughs> now that uh, your son is getting ready to join us, eh? You will need this. Okay, I'll take it again. What is this, Mama? Mm-hmm. It is to soften your labor pain and to make it easy for your son to join us. Mm. God bless you there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but how will I use it? Uh, now you listen carefully. You will rub it like or made on your groins, a private part. Uh, Morning and night. Ipokio, Ibere no no. Pull your ears. Yebente, Bobrina, Dedena Bobrina. Are you got it now? Are you listening? Yes. Morning and night. Eh? Till you deliver. And don't forget, you must be delivered here. Mianga mi mu yiba di. Taka mu mao. Mianga ena te. Ngwani. You can go now. Eh mu ti ngi mi. Say hello to your mom for me. Eh eh ngwani. Eh mama. What date exactly am I going to deliver? Aboto. Yeah, yeah everything's all right. Thank you so very much. All right, have a great day. Thank you. Bye. So, honey, how long exactly are you staying for this time? Um, I'm going to be uh, like 12 days or so. Well, I'll give birth in a few weeks. Oh. Did you finally go for the scan at Dr. Nat's? Um, what date exactly did he give you for delivery? I'll put to bed in a few weeks. And that information is not from Dr. Nat. Just tell him. It's okay. It's alright. I'll be back in two weeks. So, I guess everything is alright. Um, babe. Uh -huh. Are you averse to having me send you and our son over to the States when he's born? Hmm. Looks like a yes to me. Uh, <laughs> um, my, um, yellow boxers, you know what it is?
Sophia. Mama. Ah, you're outside. I was looking for you inside. Mm -hmm. See, take this money. Use it for your outfit. Spend it small, small, low. Don't I will, Mama. I will. You know your sister called this morning that uh, she the labor pain has started. So let me hurry up so that I can be able to assist her. You hear? Okay, Mama. Manage it, though. I will, Mama. Are you going to take her to the hospital? No. Huh. But I'll take her somewhere that she will have a safe delivery. So go inside now. Go and help me bring the bag with her to by my bedside. Okay, Mama. And bring it to the car. Why you took her out without telling me? I didn't take any way, ma. Why don't we go check the main world? Why don't we go there? Okay, fine. Both of you go check the main world and bring her back right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Where's your mom? She went to the store to buy groceries since. Okay. Um, clean this place up. Go upstairs and change your uniforms, okay? And I mean it, really clean the place up. I want it to be clean. The bathroom, the toilet, but she's nowhere to be found. Just her bag lying in the reception and her phone has been ringing. That is why I brought it here. Where could she have gone to? I suspect something now. What is it? I suspect she may have abandoned the baby for us. I suspect him too. Don't the baby and leave her bag. Um, um, please, please um, give me the address of the hospital. Okay, um, number 65. Doctor, at this point, honestly, I don't care about the baby. What I want to know is, where is my wife? Uh-uh! Sir, we understand how you feel. Okay. 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 
on behalf of this hospital, we sincerely apologize for this strange occurrence. What kind of apology is this? Eh? That my daughter came to this hospital to deliver a baby and she suddenly disappeared. Don't, don't, don't get it. Ma, um, we have this very strong feeling that she abandoned the baby. How could she have abandoned her baby? Um, sir, from the discussion I had with my nurse here, we want to consider some critical points to find out why she left and to where. And what critical factors are there? Madam Dokinta! Um, I would like to know, is this her first child? No. No? Is she under any form of pressure from any quarter to have this child? No! No, no, no. no. Is she expecting any particular sex of a baby? No! that way. And I also think you should call Sophie to join us in the search. I think you're right too. Okay, drop me at the next junction. Let me take a taxi. Do you have enough money with you? Oh yeah, I'll manage. I'll manage. How can she disappear just like that?
City. Sit down. Um, Tim, mm. we need to check our thing for psychiatric treatments. What is the meaning of that? As a result of our treatment to a baby boy that she had hoped for, she now feels extremely sad and hopeless. Postpartum depression brings the feelings of unworthiness and guilt. 
And even the thought of suicide. Uh, therefore, we need to go under close watch and cause me to. If she's going to be treated, she'll be treated from home. Well, she insists sending us for the recruiting. We need to get out and take the present thoughts for the next six months. More important, I want to advise for the services of the therapist for now. That. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate this. You're very much welcome. I'll take my leave now. Sorry. It's all the same. Yeah. Regiment is done in such a way that everything can close together. It'll be really nice for us then. Hey, where is that? Welcome. Uh, Mama, thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, how is she? Uh, team told me it's kind of serious. Serious? Yes. What is serious? Mama, I mean by Lemar's condition. Uh, what is really wrong with that? <laughs> it's small headache. And you know, uh, this kind of headache that women have whenever they go through labor. Really? Eh. Uh, oh. See, when a woman eh, goes through labor pain, mm. especially when the labor is prolonged, hmm, it will enter her head and give her this serious headache. But well, she's taking drugs for it. Oh, 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 but it's okay. It's like I was really... Oh, we are fine. Ah, <laughs> how are you? How's it going? Hey. Fine. Oh, no, no. Uh, Excuse me, eh? Okay. Uh, um, you brought the files already? Yes, I brought the files. Okay. I, I have to bring them myself uh, <laughs> since you're kind of trapped at home for the now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was wondering, see, the sequence that we went over the last time, yeah? Yes. It's really imperative to make sure that all the papers are correct because when I went through the file indexes, yes. I'm not sure if the right um, paper no. is the one that everything, we... everything on the legal okay. ties are there, okay. binding and because, all Okay. Okay. Let me just um, go through them. I think um, I'll have a clear picture tomorrow morning. It's okay. And then it's I'll call okay. you for a meeting. We'll know how to go ahead with no. it.
I don't get you coming. So what are you trying to say? That I should leave my wife? I should abandon my wife at this time to travel? My point is, you can travel and still have people stay back and take care of her while you're away. Glimpse, 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 take it easy, calm down. What are you talking about? Oh, the client is ready to pay. The client is ready to pay with cash, money. Tim, this is important. Do it. Listen to me, listen to me, Glenn. You just have to be discreet about this. Tim, let's be very logical. What can, is, what can be more natural? Take it easy. We're talking about a 75 million naira deal that we all have been working on. 75 million naira. Eh? We have done our parts. The client is waiting for you. <sighs> Don't forget that he also needs the money to take care of his wife and family. Uh, gentlemen, this discussion is over. I'm not going to move half an inch away from my wife until she's well and good. She's not feeling well at the moment, and she's a danger unto herself and our baby. And that's more important to me than all the money in the world. So, guys, this discussion is over. Let's just, let's, let's just take things easy so, we can walk things You are out. saying we should forget the client. I mean, lose the client. Claire. Lose the deal. Claire. And above all, forget the money. The 75 million. Dollars. That's not the point, Claire. We're going to place a deal on hold. Claire, do you see? Professional about it. Just take it easy. Be discreet. Yes. We can still get, you know, get something out of this. Guys, we can't just allow this business to blow away like that, like a candle in the wind. It's not possible. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, the, my, my suggestion is this. Let us put the client on hold. Then we can convince Tim to finish the job. Barrister, that time is what we don't have. I guess it's high time we finish this job our own way. Uh -huh. And send him this percentage. What? Listen. Nice, right, I guess. We all here, we are family men, we are families, we appreciate every detail of what he is going through. But that does not mean that we bring the deal to an end, just like that. So this deal goes on! I'm really surprised you guys are How can you do that? Hey, hello, 
wife said, okay, I was just going to call you, but I, uh, how are you? How's everything going? What? What? No, 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 no. How could they do a thing like that? Without... That doesn't make any sense. That's really extremely stupid. Look, make sure you set up a meeting for tomorrow, very early in the morning, okay? I guess she doesn't want you to go. and every one of us that we please lie low keep a low profile and uh, let's see if things can or will get any better please listen guys when I interview on this the SSS the MCC I bet you they can never stop they will never listen I advise you Try as much as possible not to do anything that will incriminate in one of those things. I pray. Ah, and I draw your hand out. With the information gathered so far from the client, I have personally tracked down. This is my area of specialization. I know all the things you I know more about it than all of you. Um, Tim, accept our unreserved apologies, but um, what can we do at this time? I want to suggest that we take our families and leave this country, at least for a while. I totally disagree with you. You see, I think we could stay in the Stay up the way now. Why no with Nothing will happen to any of these days. Oh guys, thanks once again for getting us into the royal mess. Uh, I will suggest that I'm going to think that this one is very important that we follow my orders to the letter. I mean, it's to the letter. I'm going to go from here to the end of my colleagues. Once again, guys, to the letter. I'm going to talk to basically all of you as well. Tim, I am very shocked to know that you are involved in this case. We received an AMP last night from our region. I'm already working the case. Yes, we are about. We have our eyes on the force. Let's forget about how I got mixed up in this case or how involved or all that. Let's just concentrate our energies on strapping it down, making it go under, just make it disappear. <laughs> Tim, this is a very, very serious and delicate situation we have here. It will take a lot of magic to get me away. What's the mind of the tears from the sun? 
usual. Well, we'll be looking at uh, between 10 to 50 million. But then I have to make a call to my organ and then see what we can do about it. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, it is. It's here with you, sir. And he's uh, it's ready to play ball. What, sir? Really? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Sir, I will do as instructed, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, right away, sir. Okay, bye, sir. He's not been picking up and, and now his phones are switched off. Mm. We don't worry too much. Else he will relapse again. Eh? I've just finished beating the baby. We are come so that you go and take your bath. Mama, he promised to come after 30 minutes. You know Tim is unpredictable. He will come back. Joshua said to me, is everything okay? Ah, uh, everything is okay. Very well. Under control. Okay. Each time Timothy travels, he does not travel without telling me. Sometimes I do the packing for him. 
didn't understand. And he's been gone for days now. Barista Kes told me he went on an emergency. My husband would never travel without him. Please. Clement, tell me where is he? I, I don't want to drink. Clement, please. Where is Timothy? I am worried. Every good wife will be worried in such circumstance. But trust me, you know your husband and I are very good friends. And our friendship transcends business. Please, take my words. Your husband is safe and sound. And um, doing business. And you know him. Uh, he goes for the cure. He's doing very big business. And uh, be rest assured that he will make enough money for you. And not just for you and your family, but also for me. For everybody. So please, take my words. Go back home. Relax and, and be happy. Are you sure? Heavens, my husband has never traveled without his briefcase. If he traveled, where did he go to? Prison. Tim has been remanded in prison. No. So fast? Is there nothing we can do? Of course, there is something we can do. Turn yourselves in and join him in prison. At least, anything beyond that. There's virtually little or nothing we can do. The virus now cares. You've been on top of the situation all this while. How come everything is happening so fast? My junior colleague who has been doing a follow up on this case was there when the judge reminded me this morning. <clears throat> Guys, do this. There are powerful persons who want to make a name with this case. It's so unfortunate that Tim has become the scapegoat. The prosecution posited that court sitting here in Portacat has no jurisdiction to hear Tim's case. Huh? On what grounds? Because as you know, this case took place at Abuja. The first one team prosecuted there. And guess what, boss? Even the attorney general is interested in this same case. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, okay, so uh, what happened to the bill application you were supposed to present today? The presiding judge struck it out and granted the application for the hearing of this case to now take place at Abuja. Abuja prison? Yes, that's it. <laughs> Boy, that's I vow. The truth is, all efforts towards the pain have gone down the drain. One has to start all over again. Okay. I think it's time we open up to his wife. Tell her the truth. Just like, just like that. Uh, Josh, how are we going to break such news to her? How would we fit to open our past and tell her that kind of thing? We have to say something to her. Guys. Lelema, what is it? I'm tired. It's been months since Tim left. I just paid the children's school fees and I'm completely broke. Broke? Since that, because for days now we've been eating them to families. 
But Mama, this whole thing is just driving me crazy. Hmm. I don't care how you drive you. When I was telling you about securing your future then Emma, it was not time like this. Mama. Mama what? Mama what? Well, the thing is, um, mm, I want to start going to my house now. Have you have I not tried? Good afternoon. I was asked to come in and see you. Good afternoon. Please do have a seat. You're welcome. You. So, how may I help you? Uh -huh. Um, this ATM card, eh? It belongs to an account jointly operated by myself and my husband. Okay. But he's not in the country now. Uh, I just tried to use it and it didn't work. I don't understand. I had I, ha I had to call customer care, but the okay. Name. Just give me the account number and the name. Okay. The account name, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Timothy, uh -huh. of Furry of The number? Um, the account number is five. Five eight eight two zero five zero four seven four. Madam, where is your husband? He's not around. Sure. Well, I think your husband is in the best position to explain this to you. Account officer, why can't you explain it to me yourself? Well, madam, this account has been frozen by the EFCC and your husband has a case to answer. Frozen? Yes. Why? What, 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 did he, what happened? What did he do? Well, I think he has to explain all that to you. Whatever it is you want to tell me now, please. The truth is, Benema, I do not know how you're going to react to this, judging from your health condition. Yes, we hid the truth from you. Benema, Tim has a problem with the police and is being detained in to seal this house. Which house? This house. Um, I'll give you a few minutes to pick up your personal belongings before I escort you out. Uh, my daughter, can you allow me five minutes? 
to talk to her inside. That would be a problem. Well, first of all, she has to hand over the house keys and the car keys. This one? Yes. Thank you. Remember, no pranks behind closed doors. Five minutes, that's all you've got. When I talked about my government, this is it. When I talked about securing the future, it is now. When I talked about investing for your future, Belema, it is now. No need to be sorry. No need to be sorry. Too late. No job. No food. No money. Hidden anywhere in the bank or chucked in somewhere. No husband. No mama. Mama. Eh. Eh. No mama. And don't you think of bringing your sorry self? Keys to my house. You know why? My landlord has been watching me. I was waiting for Timothy to come. I didn't want to bother you because I know you don't have. So now that it is like this, let me go and look for someone to uh, shelter at this lay my head. Yeah? Take. Take now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me go upstairs and pack my bed. Yeah? Bye. I came to you because you're one of Timothy's best friends. Yes. This is the time to stand by Belemao. Stand by Belema and the children. That would have helped. But you see, my landlord kicked me out because of house rent. So as you're seeing me now, I'm looking for where to lay my head. I'm on my way. It's not just about prayers. You need urgent help. Although I pastor this church, but I cannot take decisions on my own. Yeah, what I mean is, uh, I just can't help you in the capacity I would have loved to help. So I intend to do this. Um, I will let you stay in the church compound with your two kids and I will take Kesiana with me to the main house to relieve you of how many mouths to care for. Well, until things get better, Kesiana, let's go so you can put your things on.
Relax. Take a drink. Relax. Clement, the kids are out of school. We hardly can feed. I mean, how can I relax when nobody has said anything to me about my husband's I whereabouts? Know. I know. And that's the reason why I've invited you here. So I can find a way to assist you. Well, thank you very much. You, you look tired. Okay, I want you to have a very nice meal. Right? Get something to drink and relax. I will assist you. I'll give you money to take care of your needs. Okay? And, um, uh, well, what do you say about um, me and you keeping each other some, keeping each other company for the night? That's the night. Clement, what are you suggesting? Oh, come on, Benema. Do not... Don't act like a child. You're a very beautiful woman. And you shouldn't be going through all of this alone. Look at you. Give me a chance. Allow me to take care of you. I'll spend my money on you. I'll give you money. Take care of you. And besides, a beautiful woman like you also needs the companion as much as I do. Hmm? We're talking 50,000 naira here for just a night of companion. Hmm? You know how many problems 50,000 naira can solve right now. Come on, don't act like a child. Hmm? Right. Well, you think about it. Go to the bathroom and fresh it. Some of the baby things and uh, some things in the house. Well, don't do this next time. I don't want Pastor to be upset with you. Okay? All right, we're not to find this time. Take care! Guys, has any one of you seen Benema recently? No. I haven't seen her for a while. Yeah, you guys are missing. Missing what? That lady. Remember? She's sweet to the teeth. Listen, guys. Now I understand why Tim is always running back home to her bosom whenever he had the opportunity. Sweet. What kind of sweetness are you talking about? That's why I said you guys are missing. We actually ran into each other. She cried for assistance. I offered to help, and uh, on the other hand, I invited her to my hotel, and uh, <laughs> you know the rest. And you had her six hours, non-stop. That lady sure is on top of her game, and obviously, she needed it too. She must have been starving. <laughs> you mean Tim's angel? Now you shall forgive her. Come on, friend. These shirts where you wear now, they'll be black and white. I go delighted. It's very simple. 
اینو از ریز کچمان کنم سی جاست پوزیشن زمان کرنسی سی هی لایکیز ایرا هیرا ده این ویتر and she's all yours for the keeps but the only thing is that I hope you have the horse parts keep up with the race how do I look in the red Dude, you are living with this Kesena is always running back, leaving heaps of work to do. And she knows my wife is not always around. And I need her there, but yes, she is. Now, are you planning to move her here? Let me know now. Look, I'm just saying this because I know the pressure I am facing from the church committee members for harboring you here. I am just stomaching. Everything. I, I need to uh, I, I need to talk to you uh, as a child of God uh, you need to obey everything I tell you I want to register you in a private school don't you like that uh, Ah, feel free. Stop shivering now, eh? What are you trying to do? I want to bless you. I want to send you back to school, eh? Look, but first, I must break the yoke of barrier and curses following your family, eh? <laughs> so you need to... Best you
Sister Bellama, how are you? Miss Jenna, let's go. I know you love your mom so much. Let's go, we have work to do. What were you telling your mother? She never told her anything. Are you sure? Yes, I didn't tell her anything. Sit down. The report in this envelope shows that you are pregnant just one month. I'm pregnant. You were well, you don't have to worry. Now, I must warn you. If you tell any soul about this pregnancy, now or in the future, you will die. So you better keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we worship you, we exalt you, we glorify your name. King of kings, there's no one like you. Father, thy word says that they that will seek after our soul shall go down below the earth. They shall fall by their own swords. They shall become food for the wolves. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we say, wheresoever it is, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Because thy word says that where whatsoever we shall we shall bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we shall lose here on earth shall be loose in heaven. King of kings, king of kings, we call upon you now. Come now, answer our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you said when the righteous run into you, they are safe and secure. Father, we worship you. We exalt you. There's no one like you. King of kings, a rock of ages, answer my prayers now. I call upon you, Father. Because, because you said when the righteous run into you, know they are safe and secure. There's no place for us to go. We cast and bind whatsoever they are.
I'm really sorry for your loss. But you and your children can no longer stay in the church of God. Pastor Lucas, what did you have to Sister Benema, it's high time you made up with your mother and your family. You see, this thing that happened is a very bad woman brought to this holy crown by you. I will not allow you one night to avoid more deaths or very bad women. Well, Sister Belema, I'm very sorry. But I will not allow anyone to bring down this church. Or oh, my heart and reputation being brought to disrepute. Pack your things and leave this compound without me being compelled to resort to forceful injunction. Going to be listening to this house. I'm tired of this guy. Send me 
kitchen now. I don't have any money in this house. There's no kerosene in, in the house. I was going to go to uh, that filling station to see if any bit of money can help us. I'm not going to feel like this. Why can't we? Don't you have anything you can? Don't you I don't have. And I don't want you to live the life I lived when you're a full grown woman. How, mommy? Your father was a rich man. And I did not associate myself with anybody. No friends. No family members. But from my husband's side and my side. I, I, I wanted close family units because I thought we're okay. But that's a regret. Mommy, start making friends with him now. Oh, sending is too late. It's too late. But I want to tell you today, when you're a grown woman and you're married. I want you to be very independent. Don't, don't live off your husband's wealth. Be close to your family members and your husband's family too. And listen to your mother's advice. You heard me. Even if the advice comes wrong, use your head. I'm glad to finally meet you. I've heard so many stories about you. Stories? Yeah. Thank you. So, how have you been coping? I hear your husband is in prison. Yes, yeah, so he's, he's still there. The lawyer told me a long time ago that he uh, couldn't meet up with your condition. That's why he's still there. I'm only hoping I find someone that will help me break it.
I really would have loved to help. But I'm not a senior civil servant. And 50 million naira bail bond with a house worth 500 million naira in Abuja. Those are conditions I can't even imagine. I understand. That's why everybody has abandoned you it is well. Yeah. Well, um, I have to run along now. I need to go for a medical checkup. I've been having this on and off health issue. Um, Belema, it's just your analysis. Here is my card. Feel free to call me anytime, okay? I would love to be meeting you often so I can see how I can make you happy and uh, not to be lonely again. I really want to do everything possible to make you feel happy and alive. You have gone through a lot. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Does my sister know we're here? No. No. She doesn't even want you to come close. I don't know her reasons. But you strike me like a good soul. Thank you. Rex, please, I want to drink. Cool. Um, what would you like to have? Anything strong. <laughs> okay. Just a moment. Waiter, who is there? The test results are out. <laughs> so what's wrong with me? From this test, it's obvious you have malaria plus. Ah, Doctor, now the mosquitoes in that place, they are horrible. We also ran some other tests. Okay. Um, this in particular mm. indicates you have some viral infections. Viral infections? You see, this is not the end of the world. You are a strong-willed person. You will be very fine if you follow my prescriptions. Don't do that. What type of viral infection? See, you are HIV positive. Mr. 
Mr. X. How are you today? Mr. X? Mr. X! Mr. X. Dr. Aki, is it a miracle that my husband Rex was HIV positive and I'm not? Madam, it's not a miracle. It happens. It happens? How? We've been having unprotected sex for years. He was my husband. You see, Madam, contacting sexually transmitted diseases depends on the individual immune system. So I wouldn't say it's a miracle, but you're just lucky, madam. Really lucky.
Pretty girl. Look at you now. You're not a big girl. Last time I saw you, you were just a little tiny baby. Honey, but now you're back. Our life is back. Thank you so much, my angel. Thank you for holding on for me. Sally, <laughs> you find it hard to recognize your father, right? I know. Well, you're just a little child when I were. Well, um, how about my number two angel? Casey Anna. of time. After all the suffering, I still lost my beautiful daughter. Honey, you need to be strong so that you can get back on your feet. It's true. It's true. I have to be strong. Uh, if I can get presidential pardon in prison, even when there are people there who have spent 15 years as ATM, I can definitely get back. ATM. You use ATM in prison. It means awaiting trial, ma'am. Oh. But have you contacted any of your friends? I don't have any friends. I only have you and God. I understand. But after so many years in prison, you don't need another prison. <laughs> All you need is a good place so you can start it. This is not a prison. Okay. Your home is my home. Believe me, if I'd come out of prison and met you on the bridge on the state you have, I believe that both of us together can make it. Okay? I'll get back on the beat. Take some time. Baby, what you need is rest and not sex. You need to rest. I know exactly what I need. I know what I need. What, 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 what are you talking about? I've been out of prison for two weeks, and every time I try to talk to my wife, I get the same response. You push me away. What is wrong? There's nothing wrong. I just want you to rest. Rest? Rest? For what? Did I tell you I'm tired? Am I tired? Do I look tired to you? Do you know the last time I was close to a woman? Donkey years ago. I've been in prison for all those years and... and... Tell him out. What is it? Is it that you're no longer attracted to me? No, of course you know I'm attracted to you. Maybe you... Do... I'm just trying to protect you. Protect me? Protect me from what? From what exactly? You try to cross me. That's the final ingredient in my uh, mixture. 
And what is this you're making? That's something I learned at Prezing. It's a booster. Yes, it boosts your immune system up to no end. I just want to say I'm not very comfortable with this idea of having to sleep with each other with or without condoms. I mean, one of us has to be allowed to take care of our daughters. It's okay. With this, there's absolutely nothing to fear. For real. It's something I learned to praise him, Sarah. This is an immune booster unknown to man. It spikes up the immune system like crazy. So, I add the potassium to this now, and what you'll have is a concoction. That is unbelievable. I'll use it, wait 24 hours for it to mix it with more proper and last seven days straight. You can use it, I can use it to boost up a more immune system. We'll be safe, my dear. We keep, we're safe. No accidents. So, you have to do this every week? Yeah. That's a lot of work. It's okay, it's not something. Well, I was waiting for you. I used to always think about how it break out. It was just one day to start to see you. And I was always thinking about what crime to commit so I could get in prison to see you. <laughs> I miss you. What is this? Why are you acting like this now? What am I acting? How come you mention all those things to Dr. Nat and you never mention any of them to me? They started in prison, but they kind of stopped when I got out, you know. I don't know anything. And I'm sure you, you've been having the symptoms because we've been having sex and you need to stop. Is that what this is all about? Don't forget that we need to have a song. You and who? <laughs> you have to have one. I'm telling you, come on. I'm telling you. We need to have a song. It was very important for both of us. <laughs> Um, sorry for taking your time. Uh, um, Alema, is it possible for you to excuse okay. I and your husband to discuss this? Um, if you just called him my husband, there should be nothing to discuss behind me. I want to stay here. Uh, all right. It's okay, it's okay. Um, um, don't, uh, you so can, we, can we have the results now? Mm, it's not really something we can't handle. Um, Dean, there are people that experience CKD and may never experience KF. I'm hoping your case will be so. Your results shows you have CKD. Uh, what Dr. Uh, Dr. Nat, what is C CKD and KF? Chronic kidney disease. And KF means kidney failure. Please don't get it wrong. Team, you're only suffering from chronic kidney disease and not kidney failure. Um, but not to worry. It's good we discovered now that it hasn't failed. So we'll admit you and start dialysis. Well, where are we supposed to get the money to pay for this expensive dialysis? Um, huh? yeah. Let me ask Abelama. How are you getting on with the prescriptions on antiretroviral drugs? I can't afford them. Then the two of you need to start visiting government hospital immediately. It is free there. Why, why the two of us? The result also revealed you have a HIV. No! No! You told me I couldn't infect you. Remember you?
Sounded worrisome. What is it? It is. In fact, it is a disgrace. Hey, I won't take it. I won't. Mama, tell me now. What is it? Hey, Ooh. it's your sister. Her depression has gone into her head. Now it is full grown madness. Hey, hmm. Mama, don't say this. Hey, of all places, your sister have to go with her madness. She brought it to my neighborhood. Imagine my own daughter. Mad in my neighborhood. Why did she not go elsewhere? She would have traveled elsewhere. Imagine people seeing her on the streets. And that's why you have to me. Hey! I won't take it. I won't. What do we do now? I know what to do. I have everything planned out. I have to 
send people to go and bring her. Chain her down. Nobody will see her. I'm taking her off the street. She cannot disgrace you. See, I have worked hard for my reputation. Your sister will not disgrace me. So I will hide her. My neighborhood, you come to show your madness. Come along the street now. This is where you will remain. Out soon, just stick now. Stick now. Stay here, eh? Don't want me to come out. I'll be out here. that you locked your sister out. Um, well, uh, I... Anyway, anyway, that's not why I came. Your auntie, Sophia, asked me to inform you that your mom is late. What? She died this evening. Mm -hmm.
No, I'm scared. I can't stay in room. I'm scared. I'll be scared. Okay, I'll lock the door from outside. So I don't want to come and meet you. And remember, when you rise, it's dry, then wash it, then outside, you don't have to do it.